Hey everybody, so this video is active transport. So active transport is very important because it is something that is going to require um, energy in order to get it to work. So in this case, you will see in active transport, there are carrier molecules, just as we saw earlier in facilitative diffusion. Um, the difference is it's going, to it's going to move molecules from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. All right. This is something that the body does not naturally want to do. For example, if you go to a, the top of a hill, sorry, if you go to the middle of a hill and you roll a bowling ball down the middle of the hill, naturally the ball wants to roll down because of gravity. Same idea as passive diffusion or passive transport. If you want to do active transport, that is when you take that bowling ball and it rolls up the hill. So that's going to require energy. So you can see in this example here, um, it is going to require um, energy in order to take these carrier molecules and move them from the area of low to an area of high concentrations. And we see this all the time in the body. How does it work? It's going to re require cellular energy, also known as ATP.